Well, I just want to thank everybody for coming here to southwestern Pennsylvania. I'm just so proud that we're rolling this out right here in my district. And, you know, I'm Guy Reschenthal. I represent PA 14 right here in southwestern Pennsylvania. And I can tell you, thank you. You know, I, I tell everybody, I've been so fortunate in my life. I've literally traveled all over the world, both in the Navy and in, and in this job. But I tell everybody, there's no place that's more beautiful in the entire, on the entire planet than right here in southwestern Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah. And I think some of my colleagues now see what I'm talking about, right? But it's, it's, just, not, it's just not the beauty of the landscape. It's the people. We, we work hard. We believe in America and American exceptionalism. We have the values that built this country, and frankly, values that we're lacking in Washington, D.C. So it speaks volumes that we're not rolling this out with the capital behind us because it's the Beltway pundits, it's the so-called experts, it's the one-party rule that we've had for two years that have led to the disaster that we're in right now. It's going to take the values of southwestern Pennsylvania and the real America to get us back on track. So that's why we're right here. Well, I want to thank DMI and I want to thank Ray Yeager for hosting us and having us here. The tour was amazing. Uh, I told some of my colleagues a story. I, I don't know if people know this, but I grew up with the founder's grandkids. We were really good friends. I, I know Pete is somewhere uh, in the audience now, but I vividly remember being told about Pete's grandfather coming here to the United States with $5 in his pocket. And we looked at this business, we looked at what Pete and his family had, and all of us, all of, all of that group of kids knew that in America, the American dream was real, it was attainable. If an immigrant can come here with $5 and create this, we can do so much as well. But unfortunately, that American dream, I think, is being threatened right now. It's the commitment to America that will get us back on track and make that American dream always attainable. But I'd like to introduce Ray 